So hello everyone and welcome back. It's Terry and it is another edition of An Orchid a Day. And it is fairly late in the day. Again, I, uh, I'm a spontaneous person in, in general. Um, I had briefly thought about going live instead of doing this video. But I have been out here all day uh, kind of uh, inspecting things a little more closely. Uh, when I uh, put all of my orchids back into the greenhouse, I couldn't help but notice a few places, uh, well, more than a few plants that had scale on them. Uh, for instance, this. That would be scale. And I would say those are remnants without trying to zoom in too much. Uh, if you're watching my channel, you, you see it right away. So I hadn't noticed that this plant until I was pushing the start button for this video. So once again, I re all day I was saying I wasn't going to do a video and all day I was uh, out here pulling plants one by one, dragging them into my kitchen, uh, to the sink here, uh, to the sink in my kitchen because my workbench which is right here is occupied with plants and my sink which is now okay phone and you all know I bought this this phone primarily only because of the camera but my sink you can see my sink there's no way I would be able to, I guess I could if I did some dishes and cleaned out those pots and moved, but I'm not gonna move my, uh, what is this? Well, it's my pescatory, I'm not gonna move it because it's been happy there all summer. So no way, I'm gonna move it. So, and I'm not gonna move any of this. Would you? just to have a place to uh, have your plants to sit um, when you needed to do work on them. Yeah, I would love to have a spot. I would love to have a couch or a chair in here. Um, I would actually love to have a TV. No, I'm just kidding. Um, well, but plants come first, and so you do what you got to do. And so I take them one by one into... I'm sorry, I dropped my glasses into my kitchen and sorry this this video is so scatterbrained but I guess the point is that while all day I was uh, making that a priority and as I'm watching getting focusing on this one I'm gonna take it down just so I don't forget it and leave it out here um, again it is a the point of the video is a reminder and I know I don't have to remind any of you because none of us enjoy the prospect of having pests on our plants that we spend so much time nurturing and growing and watching do nothing for years and then all of a sudden they do something and then we get more excited and more anxious so none of us want to see any sort of bugs on our plants is that a bug I would say yes and you know I am uh, not uh, being gentle when I do this because some of these plants have history of scale so it really is a constant battle I'd say if you have had scale at one time you still have scale even if you don't see it it's there somewhere and I hate to uh, 
be such a downer. But it is something that you have to do. But on the bright side, um, I noticed, as I said, my problem before I went on a vacation. Well, before I, well, when I moved my plants all in, I knew that a significant portion of my plants or my collection had scale. Not a full-on infestation, but I, you know, like I'm sitting here right now, just scratching off little pieces of what I would, what I would say is scale. And it's not all over the plant but you know it's there and if it's there then it's probably there which that's a scale maybe it's not but you should assume that it's there in the proximity of the plant that you find it on you should just assume it so you know, it's just something that we have to be vigilant about. And so today, to make a long story short, I was figuring out how to best do it, whether to pull them all out one by one or just to do a general spray through the whole greenhouse and then go back through as I do with mechanical measures, whether it's my fingers or whether it's uh, a hose or I even use a toothbrush to get down into the leaf axles down in here or you know down in these areas the crowns are where you find it where I find it the most and the toothbrush is very helpful uh, because uh, one thing I've learned from Roger is if you have any plant with scale that has sheaths on it you might as well remove every sheath on that plant because if you if you have any piece of a sheath the scale will find its way into whatever sheath is on that plant and then it will spread from there so it's a preventative thing more than anything uh, regardless of how your plants look you know it's more of a preventative thing so um, I used to leave my sheaths on regardless you know I would pull them back and try to save them but you can't do that you just have to pull it all apart and just scrub it out or just spray it out so that's what I was doing today. But to make a long story short, again, once I took a closer look and pulled out certain plants that I felt needed immediate attention, once I got those out of the way, it really wasn't all that bad. It really wasn't all that bad. So, but I guess the moral of this story is that you should always still stay vigilant as Bill Tom said say as Bill Toms says mind your poo the power of observation on your plants so yeah I will end my video on that note hopefully you all had a good weekend and we'll see you soon if you've enjoyed this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.